a good woman is not easy to find. Uh -huh. You have to snatch her from a careless man. Mm. My brother, uh -huh. snatch her. Snatch her! Snatch her! <laughs> snatch her. <laughs> snatch her. <laughs> <laughs> So do you ladies feel like women are seriously ready for emotionally intelligent men? Kitty, <laughs> Kitty, what do you think? Okay, let's talk about what emotional intelligence comes with before we even get into this conversation, okay? Oh. We're talking about you wanting a man who is tolerant, who regulates his emotions, yes. who also knows how to manage your emotions. Mm -hmm. But you're also talking about a man who knows how to navigate his sensitivities and everything else when it comes to that. Mm. But you have to consider that an emotionally intelligent man is good at cutting people off when he sees that your sensitivities bring too much reactivity. See now there are many different levels to emotional intelligence. But what she just said there is the highest level in regards to relationships. See with emotional intelligence, most men will act like they've got it. Until you observe these same men around women that they like, it's a completely different story. Trust me, I'm sure you've been there before. Me personally, I didn't know that I was an emotional, intelligent person until I realised how easy I was cutting chicks off. And when I say cut chicks off, I don't mean just cut chicks off for any little red flag, because that's silly. See, being emotionally intelligent means you have high self-respect. Let's talk about it. <laughs> so, do you want to come inside for coffee? Sure. Have you got any condoms? Do you not know how to make coffee? <laughs> the majority of women will tell you that they want a man who is emotionally intelligent. The problem is, are the majority of women emotionally intelligent? Unfortunately, the answer is no. The majority of women don't know how to regulate their emotions. Catherine, I caught you once again cheating on me. All I want is my clothes and I will leave. May I please have my clothing items so I can get the hell out of the house? I asked you to leave anyway. I am leaving. Can I please have my clothes? You can come back later. No, I'm not coming back. Well, then you can come My clothes back. are right there. All I need is the things in the dryer. That's it, and I'm out of here. Can you please move out of the way so I can get my clothes, and I will leave? You can call the cops. So that you can be with Michael. You can call the cops. I don't want to call the cops. I just want my clothes, and I will leave. Okay. May I please have my clothes? No. Why? Why can't you just go be with him? Okay, so prime example here. She got caught cheating. And instead of just taking her L, like a woman, she wanted him to go through more pain by telling him to call the police. Now, call the police for what reason? What reason would, would he need to call the police? The reason is because when the police are called to a domestic, they always take the woman's side. Every man should know this. Okay? So, when she's telling him to come back later, it's what you call a shithead. Basically, she wants a reaction from him. Because telling him to come back later for his clothes when she can just move out the way is stupid. And any man's going to get angry. And as soon as you get angry and you react, there you go. That's what happened. So, please don't fall for this. Don't ever fall for this, test. Okay? How you react is vital to every situation. It's really important. So last season when I was dating on Hinge, I made the mistake of settling down with one person because I thought that would be the right thing to do. Like three good dates doesn't mean a good relationship. Also was very unable to do roster dating because I just get so exhausted. Like having to listen to someone, remember details about them, and then trying to stay attentive and interesting at the same time. Like to have to put that much effort into like five or six or seven guys is so tiring but um girl learned her lesson this time around like we are gonna try roster dating as hard as it is for me i was talking to my girlfriend the other day and i was like i can't do roster dating because it's too exhausting and like 
it's just it's too much energy and she was like girl these men do not deserve your 100 percent like just go out there give your 50 percent just sit there be uninterested do the bare minimum so i'm gonna try giving that and we are roster dating starting today my roster is now two i'm meeting somebody for dinner tonight i actually thought it was really cute the way he asked me we were just doing the pen pal thing and i've decided that i'm not going to be the girl who just straight up asks the guy out on the date anymore because that exerts too much energy out of me then he messaged me yesterday and he was like i know this is last minute but uh are you free for dinner tomorrow i feel like if i don't ask you now i won't have the chance to and i was like okay Free. I'm a little worried because I have bad memory and I don't remember the things I tell to people So I'm gonna be like, did I mention this to you or not? And they're gonna be like, oh, it must have been the other guy you told and low-key and be like That could be very true. Anyways, I'll let you know how it goes Settling for one person I made the mistake of settling for one person She said Three good dates don't make a good relationship, she said. Her friend said, these men don't deserve your 100%. You should just sit there like you're uninterested. He called, she belongs to the streets. Number one, settling for one person is how families are created, okay? Settling for one person, it's how civilization was created, okay? It's how children are raised and how children progress in society from families okay can you imagine having a child for this girl yeah i don't think so either two three good dates don't make a good relationship you're correct what would you prefer though three bad dates this girl's an idiot okay don't waste your time don't waste your time dating girls like this three these men don't deserve your hundred percent i'd have to say you're correct again None of, none of these men deserve your 100% because you're horrible <laughs> and that's the only way I can break that one down nobody doesn't want any percent of you because you're horrible the way you talk is just so unattractive the only thing that girl is going to attract is I'm sure she knows already she's probably going through it already but I'm sure even you watching this knows what sort of guys these girls, girls attract and it's mainly simps this is why majority of men are just checked out and the passport bro movement will continue to grow the only men i can see left in the west chasing chicks are simps because emotionally intelligent men women don't like those sort of men Mo majority of women don't like those sort of men because you can't manipulate those sort of men you can't finesse those sort of men and that's just how the game works the thing about dating a guy in their 30s when you're like in your early 20s like example i dated this guy that was like 35 when i was like 22 he might have been like 36 i don't even know but at the time i was like so obsessed with him i was like in love with him because he like knew what natural wine was and knew how to make a cocktail and when i was 22 i was like oh my god this brilliant gentleman and now that i'm 26 i'm like oh I think that's literally all he has going for him. Like, I don't really know what else there is. And he keeps trying to talk to me and I'm like, look, I've seen behind the curtain. I'm in my late twenties. Like I know what you're doing. So everybody who's in their early twenties right now, if you've got a guy and he's like 35, 36, 37, I don't know. Just remember there's a reason girls his age aren't with him. Shut up, silly woman. Now, would you agree that you have to take responsibility for your own actions in life, yeah? So if I meet a girl and a few months or years down the line, this girl turns out to be someone else, then I have to take responsibility for that because I chose this person, yeah? I'm not going to then come online and tell you that all girls are bad just because of my one situation, yeah? So this girl... She dated an older man, fell in love with him because he knew how to make wine. Later on found out that he was no good. And now you want to come online and tell younger girls not to date older men because of your one experience. The motto is never take relationship advice from a woman. I mean, each to their own. But if you've got any sense, don't kill yourself. It's not worth it. <laughs> Listen, if you want to save yourself from these chicks, join the family, subscribe. Eat that, yeah. 
Potentially in another brother's baby mother